So I really want to introduce you guys today to this plugin WP Code. Imagine when last time somebody asked you to change your theme files and you thought, okay, that sounds very scary. So this plugin is a perfect plugin for the people who want to make any change in their themes, want to add code snippets on the website, want to add custom code, for example, Google Analytics code or any other custom JavaScript code on the website. This is the perfect plugin. And not just this, this plugin can replace so many plugins that really amaze me. And since I know this plugin, I am obsessed with this plugin. I use this plugin on all my website. So many of you know who want to make some change in the theme, you go to appearance and then go to theme file editor. And then you go to functions.php and then you add a lot of code here which is sometimes really complicated to understand and especially for people who are not very advanced who are just managing WordPress website. And the worst part is whenever you add something here, if it is not correct, it can break your website yes and this whole idea is really scary to ch make changes in your website files even me as a professional developer from last 15 years I know it is really complicated that every time I come here try to write a code or maybe copy from chat GPT or <laughs> from internet and paste the code here it's all very complicated but since I use this plugin WP code all those worries are gone and I can make changes very fast on my website so okay, so let me show you how this plugin works. So I already have this plugin installed on website and you can see on left sidebar, we can see code snippets. If you go to code snippets here, you can see all the code snippets I used in the past on website and they're really easy to manage from here. For example, there's a code snippet which is added here to completely disable the comments on the website or there's a more complicated one to display message after the first paragraph of post. This is really guys super amazing plugin then you can do so many complicated things without knowing any of the code. For example you want to add a new snippet click here on add new and now you can see they have 164 free snippets here. So what is snippet means let me show you and how you can use them. For example if we select the most popular so we have this one add your custom code snippets. So for example you want to add any code from anywhere on the internet from chat GPT or anywhere you can add that code directly here you do not need to go to theme files and add that code there what else we can do for example if you want to allow SVG file upload we can use this snippet normally to do this work you need to install a plugin or you need to add some custom code to website which is again adding one more plugin to website or adding custom code which might break your website if it is not the correct code the snippet here complete disable comments I'm already using this you can see here it is written use which will completely disable comments on website again to do this thing you might need to install a plugin or you need to add a code in your theme files and by using this snippet we can do this in matter of seconds you can see disable Gutenberg editor use the snippet and disable the new Gutenberg editor and go to the classic editor again for this their plugin available most of the people use the plugin to disable the good and bad editor. So snippets are to achieve some functionality by some code and when you use WB code plugin you can do that like in very easy way. For example let me show how it works. Okay so if I want to allow SVG file upload I can click on use snippet then you can see a code preview here and all that code is already added and this code is verified by this team so you do not need to worry about if it will break the website or not and now what I just need to do is click here on active so now this is active and then click on update so now I'm able to upload the SVG files on my website let's take another example I click on add snippet so we can go to available snippets and then if I want to change the read more text for excerpts I can use this snippet just click on use snippet and the code is by default added here you don't need to do anything and you can see the instruction here, add the line below to add your own read more text. So if I want to change the text, I can just change any text which I want here. For example, I will say continue reading. I can add this code and then I click on update. But guys, make sure always by default it is inactive. So make sure you activate this snippet. And now the read more text after the post will be changed to continue reading. And one real nice thing I like about this plugin is if I scroll the page, you can see we have smart condition logic here. If I enable logic, you can add some logic where this snippet should be shown and how it's shown. For example, like condition, show this snippet and then I click on add new group. If logged in and then you can choose the different status. For example, if user logged in, what is the user role 
type of page, what is the post type, taxonomy page, post URL different. For example, if I want to add this snippet only if the user logged in, I click on logged in and then is true. If I want to show this snippet only to the guests of the website which are not logged in, so I select logged in is, here is false and then I update. So now this snippet will be shown only for the people who are not logged into the website. You can combine different logic, for example, the user is logged in and you can choose another condition. For example, from here you can say page URL is and then you can add the URL of the page and then click on update. So now this snippet will run only when the user is logged in and the page URL is the URL you mentioned here. For example, I mentioned the checkout URL of my website. So this is how it works. What else you can do? You can go to header and footer here and now you want to add a code in the header of your website. For example, Google Analytics code or a Google Ads code. You can add that code here. If you want to add a code in the body, you can add that code here. If you want to add a code in the footer, you can add that here. And also at any time you can enable or disable all the snippet you have added using this plugin. Let me know guys what do you think about this plugin. I really like this plugin. I recommend you everybody to try using this plugin. It can help you a lot and you might not need to use so many different plugins for achieving different functionalities. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that.